Meanwhile, WAP's Aaron Cofield has more on what's going on in Hammond with the Southeastern Lions. In a quarterback driven conference, the Southeastern Lions appear to be ahead of the game. Santa Mont native Brian Babin is going into his third season under center. This year you get more and more confident. The game starts to slow down for you a little bit. Got a lot of juniors and seniors, and you know, we're not that young team trying to get the program back anymore. So it's really time to kind of separate ourselves from everybody else. They are without time all-conference running back Jay Lucas finishing his career last season with over 2,700 rushing yards and 22 touchdowns. Looking to fill that void are Zeke Jones and Jasper Duxworth. Me and him was doing a one-two punch, found the light, so you can say. Jasper can probably do some things running the football that Jay could not do. Uh, Jasper's one of those guys that you can't touch in a phone booth. He's so quick. After missing last season's injury, Hammond native Merrick Lano is back. He and Babin are teammates on the field, roommates all. Now, instead of talking about what we're doing on the weekends, we find ourselves at the house talking about plays and, you know, going out in the yard and throwing. During the offseason, both Babin and Lano helped out at the Manning Passing Academy in Thibodeau and took a trip to Hattiesburg to throw balls with Brett Favre. Lano left that workout with visual evidence earning the nickname one Eye" after failing to catch this pass with his hands, but rather with his face. I'll never enjoy getting hit in the eye as much as I did that day. I actually wanted to turn even more black so that I can go around town. People say, hey, what happened to your eye? Oh, Brett Favre, you know, got me in the eye. People ask me if he still got it, uh, and I told them if he doesn't have it anymore, I'd hate to see him when he did have it. Aaron Cofield, WAFB 9 Sports.